Hi everyone, my name is Philip Ekberg and welcome to my C-Sharp Design Patterns course covering the data axis patterns. I'm a principal consultant and CEO at a consultant agency operating out of Gothenburg in Sweden. I started the company a few years ago focusing on building fast, powerful and easy to maintain solutions. This course is for those of you that want to learn about the different data access patterns, how they're implemented using c -sharp, and best applied in your applications. This means that we're going to dig into repositories, unit of work, as well as lazy loading. We will cover everything that you need to know in order to master these different patterns. This includes the characteristics of a repository, unit of work, and lazy loading. Understanding the benefits and trade-offs when using these different data access patterns. How to implement these patterns in new and existing solutions, as well as identifying and leverage existing implementations. By the end of this course, you'll feel comfortable with implementing repositories, unit of work, and lazy loading in your applications. This will allow you to build extensible, more robust and testable applications. Before beginning this course, you should be familiar with the c -sharp syntax and how to build and run .NET applications. No other prior knowledge is necessary. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn all about working with these very powerful C-Sharp design patterns with the Data Access Patterns course at Pluralsight.